Okay, so I just bought this motorbike and I need to do, uh, I need to fill up the brake fluid. Now, I don't know what fluid he used, so I can't just fill it up with fluid I buy from the store because you can't mix fluids. Um, it might have something different in it and you just don't want to do that, especially when it comes down to brakes. Uh, they're very important, so you don't want to mess around with it. So, what's best to do is bleed out the old fluid and fill the whole brake um, stuff up with old fluid. So first step is to get a bit of fuel line. Now a motorcycle fuel line will work. Any sort of fuel line that's this sort of size. Even um, if you go to the irrigation section in your department uh, hardware store, you can get this sort of size fuel line. It, anything will work really. Um, so what you need to do is put it on the bleed nipple on your caliper. Now this this one here. On your front brakes, it's the same thing. You can see the bleed nipple there. Usually has a rubber cap on it. This one doesn't, so yeah, it's not good. Um, what it has is like a sort of one-way ball valve. Um, so what you need to do is set up some sort of. I uh, just. <laughs> Lock this up and then shove the tube in there. It's in there quite a lot so it doesn't get over your floor because if this gets on your paint, it eats it. Now, it also eats metal. Um, well, I mean, not straight away, but yeah, it eats paint and stuff like that. So, you don't really want to put it in a, a metal sort of can. So, it's best to use an old plastic. Uh, I'm just using an oil can that had uh, just a little more oil in it and that's fine just so it doesn't uh, either metal or anything and then after it you can just pop the lid on and dispose of it now disposing this stuff you can't just chuck it in the bin obviously because it's so corrosive if you put it in the bin and then it like pops or something it can cause a lot of damage so what you have to actually do it's a bit of a pain but um, you can just store it and then when you get around to it you take it to a recycling center like a tip and they'll have an area where you can dispose of oils and brake fluids and stuff like that um, if you don't want to do that if you take it to your mechanic um, any sort of mechanic center uh, they'll probably be happy to just dispose of it for you because they dispose a lot of this stuff anyway so a little bit won't hurt alrighty so set up your tube in your um, container and then what you need to do is get a little spanner and undo this nipple now you only need to undo it just a tiny little bit you will have to crack it because it will be sealed so just undo it anti-clockwise and just crack it you only have to undo it a little bit and you'll start to see the fluid come out and then just let it flow then undo your reservoir which is just over there for me and fill up your reservoir and then just keep um, filling it and pumping the pedal and get all that fluid out and um, you might have to um, close it up keep pumping the pedal a bit to build up pressure and undoing it and just keep on doing that until you see your new fluid coming through now the fluid I got in there now is green the fluid I got at the moment is yellow the one I just bought so it's best to get two different colors if you can get some sort of color like green and red because it's easy to distinguish but if you can't then just I mean if you can't um, find your fluid then I just you have to just do it until you think it's right if you can just see a slight difference um, that'll be right but yeah it's best to try get two different colored brake brake fluids it's a lot easier so I'm just gonna pump it through now and I'll show you the end result. Okay, so I just undid the nipple a little bit, probably just about half a turn or so, and then just pump the brake pedal, and you'll see the brake fluid pumping through. Now once it gets there, it should just flow and sometimes it doesn't 
Now, as you're doing this, you have to fill up your reservoir, and then just keep on pumping it until you see the change in colour. And then just lock off your bleed valve, and you're done. If you've got a bit of brake fluid over your bike, don't wipe it off. Get the hose immediately, and I mean immediately, and spray it with water. Don't wipe it, because all you're going to do is, is just, you know, uh, wipe it across the paintwork. It won't actually go onto the towel. So get a hose like I did, and just spray it like hell. Um, <clears throat> even if there's areas you think that might have got a little bit on there, just spray everywhere. Because if any little bits get in here, they rust. They make it rust, and uh, if any gets on your wheels, like mine ran down here when I pulled the hose off, it sort of ran. So I just sprayed around the whole wheel and the whole brake caliper and everywhere. You don't want anything to rust. Well, I hope you enjoyed my tutorial, guys. And I'll see you later.